game day here in Milwaukee and at Miller Park. Our thoughts are on Daryl Hamilton and his family here today. Hi, everybody. Brian Anderson. Uh, we welcome you inside Miller Park. <clears throat> this is a tough day for us. We have lost a, a member of our Brewers family here today. Daryl Hamilton uh, died tragically at his home in Texas on Sunday night. We were uh, learned of that news yesterday. And as we process all of this information, we think about Daryl. And yes, we will get on with the business of baseball today, but we also want to honor Daryl Hamilton today. He played for the Brewers seven of his 13 years. He was in the Brewers Wall of Honor currently. And more than anything else, he was a, a great friend and a good man. Number of statements coming out. This one coming from Doug Melvin. All of us are stunned and saddened with the news of this horrible tragedy, something that is impossible for us to even begin to comprehend. Our thoughts and prayers go to Daryl's family and friends, and he will be greatly missed. Daryl was a wonderful player in our organization. But more importantly, he was a true gentleman and a great friend to many here. Statement from Commissioner Rob Manfred on Daryl Hamilton, who worked in the MLB office for some time. All of us at Major League Baseball are shocked and saddened by this tragedy. Daryl followed a successful 13-year career on the field by assembling a multifaceted career in our game, working for MLB Advanced Media and in our Baseball Operations Division before moving on to MLB Network. And he continued to say he was a talented and personal individual, and we were proud to call him a member of the baseball family. On behalf of Major League Baseball, I extend my deepest sympathies to Daryl's family and his many friends throughout our game from Commissioner Rob Manfred. Daryl also played for the New York Mets, big part of a couple of playoff teams there and a World Series team. The Mets issued this statement, saddened by the tragic death of Daryl Hamilton. Daryl's vibrant personality made him a key member of our postseason teams in 99 and 2000. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. And bring in Bill Schroeder now and Rock. This is a it's a sad day, you know, and yeah. Daryl would certainly want to move on with baseball. He loved baseball. You were teammates with Daryl. He brought a lot to the table. He was part of our broadcasting group last year. That smile is what we're going to miss the most, I think. Yeah, he was a guy that created energy. Everybody knows people that suck energy out of you, but <laughs> Daryl was not one of those guys. Always had a smile on his face. He loved life. He loved baseball. He loved being a baseball player. And the one thing that I'll never forget about Daryl Hamlin, the fact that he could pay it forward. He was a big leaguer. He was a veteran. He always tried to teach young players how to act both on and off the field, play the game right, but he did it in a fun-loving way. He'd buy a suit for a guy. He'd buy dinner for a young player. That's what he learned when he came up, and that's what I remember most about Daryl Hamilton, just a fun-loving guy, always with a smile on his face, and uh, just loved being out on the field. Yeah, we wear our bow ties today. Daryl loved when we wore bow ties. He said, you guys need to step up your game and your, uh, and your dress. So we're doing this for Daryl tonight. We'll never look as good as Daryl Hamilton. He was our friend. He was our teammate. He was a real good guy, too. We're going to miss him a great deal. Daryl Hamilton is gone at age 50.